great, 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 great day, family, family, family. We are here standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, but I tell you, of course, you know, this is a hard for some production. And right now we are on that Art Thing podcast. <laughs> Gonna stride, stride. No, we're going to blow up your old paradigms today. We are talking about the harmonies of heritage. Let's blow them up. Let's get down to it. Let's have this conversation. Let's do some building and discussing. Hold on. I got an email. Hold on. I got an email. Uh, kids. Young people, leave that man alone. Leave that man alone. Every time... You turn around, somebody wants to try to hold you down and say that you're somebody that you're not. I just wish y'all would just stop. Okay? So I'm going to get into the thing today. Discussion is harmonies of heritage, awakening self-determination through the rhythms of our ancestors. In the heartbeat of our past, we find the melodies of our future. Oh, and can I get some music, please? Just a little bit of music. Oh, and before we go any deeper, hey, it is the day of Coochie Chakalia during the week of Coochie Chakalia. So all of you Coochie Chakalia babies, man, stand up. Get this applause. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. Ain't nothing like, oh, man. All right. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. In the heartbeat of our past, we find the melodies of our future as we... Immerse ourselves in the week of Kuchi Shaglia, we are reminded that the rhythms, the dances, the songs of our ancestors are not mere sounds or movements. They are echoes of our history, of struggles won and challenges faced, of joy celebrated and grief consoled. They are, in essence, the most profound expression of our cultural roots, carrying lessons, resilience, and indomitable spirit of those who came before us. Anna McKay, can I get some music, please? That's the only thing to make this thing a little bit better. Kuji Chagalia teaches us about self-determination, the assertion of our presence, our nights, and our heritage in a world that is constantly changing. What better way to understand and embody this principle then by turning to the musical traditions that have defined time, oppression, and neglect to assert their rightful place in the chronicles of our existence. These cultural expressions are testaments to the power of identity, the strength found in unity, and the courage that drives a people to determine their destiny. So how do we let these ancestral rhythms guide our path to robust, robust self-determination? How do we ensure that the voices of our heritage continue to shape our community bonds and identities, not just in the echoes of the past, but in the vibrant living present and the future we're building. Power steps. Of course, we got the power steps to bring Kuji Chagalia to life. One, discover and share. Invest time in uncovering the traditional music and dance forms of your or another culture. Listen to them. Feel them, understand the stories they narrate, and share them with others. By doing so, you breathe life into the, these traditions, and you might find aspects of yourself reflected in these art forms, strengthening your sense of identity. Two, participate and preserve. Engage with your community to celebrate cultural heritage through music and dance. Attend cultural performance, be part of community festival, even organize events that showcase traditional art forms. Active participation isn't just enjoyment. It's an act of preserva uh, preservation and a declaration of the value you place on these cultural treasures. Three, innovate and propel. Be inspired to create new expressions, music, dance, art that incorporate elements of the traditional innovations, ensure relevance, and by blending the old with new, you're contributing to the evolution of your culture. Remember, self-determination is not, not just about embracing the past, but confidently steering the future. Embracing the rhythms of our ancestors isn't nostalgia. Nostalgia is an act of rebellion against the erasure of identity, a celebration of our roots, and most importantly, it's a way to draw strength and inspiration. 
As we move to the beats that have guided generations, we find a determination to continue crafting our path, honoring those who paved the way for self-determination and ensuring their legacies live on in every step we take forward. Let the rhythms resonate within you and may your actions amplify them for the world to hear. All right, all right, all right, cool. Um, Anime, if you would, bring that music down just a little bit, just a little bit. Come on now, because you know you, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. What time is it? What time is it? It's time for. It's the proverb. 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 That's right, it's proverb. Time. Proverb. The proverb. 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 The proverb. Proverb. Proverb of the day. Proverb of the day. We got after the rain, the earth hardens. In the embrace of Kuji Chaglia, a day dedicated to the principles of determination, we find profound wisdom in the African proverb. After the rain, the earth hardens. This metaphor for resilience and strength in the face of adversity is deeply reflective of our journey and the essence of our cultural expression, particularly the music and dance. Our ancestral rhythms are far more than artistic expressions. They are resilient threads that have bound the fabric of our histories, identities, and shared human experiences across the sands of time. They have braved the rains of marginalization, the storms of displacement, and the floods of cultural assimilation. Yet akin to the earth, they have emerged, not eroded, but solidified and enriched through these trials. This essence or this resilience is a testament to our collective, a collective identity an identity that has refused to be washed away by the torrents of time and challenge. Today, as we immerse ourselves in the spirit of Kuja Chaglia, let's embody the understanding that our self-determination is deeply rooted in our ability to endure, evolve, and strengthen. The songs of our heritage, the beats that resonate with our collective heartbeats and the dances that move us are not remnants of the past to be merely observed. They are dynamic living testaments to our inherent strength and resilience, a continuous dance of life that weaves through the rain to harden the soil of our collective soul. As we continue on, the, on this path, let's actively celebrate and educate others about the rich tapestry of our cultural arts, not just as historical artifacts, but as living expressions of our present and conduits of our future. Let's allow the resilience embedded in our traditions to inspire innovation and integration, creating new expressions that honor the past while embracing the future. And importantly, let's use these cultural treasures to unify and fortify our communities, understanding that our strength, much like the earth, herbs is cumulative, built layer by layer with each shared experience. As the drum beats echo the resilience of generations and the rhythms tell stories of our collective journey, let's let each dance step be a testament to our unyielding spirit. Our culture is both an inheritance and a legacy, a resilient link from our past to the future. Today, as we honor Kuji Chaglia, let's commit to being both the inheritors and the creators of cultural strength, ensuring the long after um, ensuring that long after the rain, the earth of our community remains hard and unyielding. All right, we are on the folktale of the day. The folktale of the day is a Haitian um, folktale called the Boku Dance. Boku Dance is the Coquio, Co Coquico, Coquioco. That's what it looks like. So, um, you know, but you know how to get that. You want to get on that email list. Hey, but you know what? This is Brother High Tim, and I'm up, and I am out of here. <laughs>